you can relax and let go and feel fully supported just where you are. Steady. Strong. Let the belly be soft and the breath natural. And let the heart be soft as well to receive whatever arises with a spirit of kindness and compassion. And with this embodied presence, let's begin with a practice of compassion. Let yourself think of someone you care about where it's relatively easy, not terribly conflicted. Someone where there's a natural sense of love and care. Tenderness. Picture them, remember them, sense them, feel them in any way you can. Let their spirit, the sense of this one that you care about, be seen and felt just now. Feel your connection and how much you do care for their well-being. And while you can wish them well, send them loving kindness, Let yourself also be aware of the struggles in their life as in all human lives. Let yourself sense the sufferings or the struggles, the fears or pain, the difficulties of their life. And because you care about them, notice how immediately there arises a, a sense of compassion. The heart being touched, moved by their struggles. And your care. And then extend this compassion to them with simple phrases of well-wishing. May you be held in compassion. May your struggles or sorrows be eased. May you be safe and protected. And may your heart be at peace. May your struggles and sorrows be eased. May you be held in great compassion.
May you be safe and protected. And your heart be at peace, your life be at peace. And with these practices of compassion and loving kindness, you can alter the words so that they express your care any way that works. And now imagine this dear one, this person who you care about, could gaze back at you. And they gaze with the same loving care and feel the connection. And they say, just as you have offered compassion and well-wishing, I want to offer it back to you. And they gaze at you and they say, I see your struggles and sorrows. May your struggles and sorrows be eased. May you hold yourself in great compassion. May you be safe and protected. And may your heart be at peace. And your life be at peace. May your struggles be eased, they say, held in compassion all. And you take in their care for you and maybe even put your hand on your own heart because they so want this for you, they care about you. You receive this and say yes. May I hold myself in compassion. May my struggles be eased. May I be safe and protected. May my heart be at peace. My life be at peace. May I hold myself in compassion for all the struggles of life. And feel this, the heart opens with tenderness and care and courage. Strength and compassion. Now think of another person who you care about and picture them, this other loved one or person that you care about. And feel the care, the love that's there.
And again, let yourself be aware of the measure of struggle or sorrows in their life. What they struggle with as a human being. And to feel the tender compassion that arises. And again, extend the compassion and whispered words from the heart. May you be held in compassion. May your struggles be eased. May you be safe and protected. May your heart be at peace. Your life be at peace. And sense how you can open your heart one after another to extend the field of compassion. You can be like a lamp that shines this compassion now out from your own consciousness and heart across time and space and feel the struggle of others. And for this evening, let's extend our compassion and spread it to all those who are caught up in the wars of the world, frightened, lost, suffering, to mothers holding their children, clutching them in fear, to those who are old and aged or sick, to the youth, to those in the wars of Myanmar and Eritrea, of Sudan and Ukraine and Libya, to the young men and women being conscripted, conscripted and drawn in, to the farmers and healers, to the teachers and merchants and poets all caught up in war, and this poem from John O'Donohue, extended with your compassion, as the fever of day calms toward twilight, may all that is strained in us come to ease. We pray for all who suffered violence today May an unexpected serenity surprise them. And for those who risk their lives each day for peace, may their hearts glimpse providence at the heart of history. That those who make riches from violence and war, we pray that they might hear in their dreams the cries of the lost. 
that we might see through our fear of each other a new vision to heal our fatal attraction to aggression. To those who enjoy the privilege of peace, might not forget their tormented brothers and sisters. We pray that the wolf might lie down with the lamb, that our short swords be beaten into plowshares, and no hurt or harm be done anywhere along this great holy mountain. And let yourself envision those who are struggling in all those places named and beyond, young and old. And from your heart, extend the wishes and prayers of compassion in every direction to them. held in compassion, all, all, all. May your sorrows be eased. May you be safe and protected. May your heart find peace. And may your life find peace. And staying present as a beacon of compassion. Breathe gently and with each breath, extend the care, the courage, the tender compassion and strength. For some, it will be like radiating from your heart, a sweet and luminous energy of compassion to surround beings everywhere. For some, it will ask, invite you to picture the farmer, the mother with her child, the old ones, the teachers and poets and healers, the youth caught up in war, Sense that they might feel this and know this from you. As if we were connected across time and space. For we are.
and even a pebble tossed in the ocean changes the whole ocean. So let your prayers and compassion touch the heart of all. And feel how it's as if we're all holding hands together tonight. Holding hands and extending compassion, opening our hearts. As a prayer and a blessing. in a deep connection. Thank you. Thank you, dear ones, for <clears throat> practicing together with me and everyone else. I needed that. Maybe we all need that in some way. <clears throat> it feels so important and simple to stop, to quiet the mind, tend and open the heart and offer the connection and compassion and love that is so natural to us.
Thank you for listening. To learn how you can support the teachers and Dharma Seed, please visit dharmaseed.org slash donate.